Hey y'all, in this Movement Minute, we're going to hit the high points in the jerk. First, what we're looking to do is harness power from the legs, so you need contact between the bar and your shoulder. The higher the elbows are, the more solid the contact is. You're throwing the bar with your body, not your arms. As demonstrated in this video by this individual who is both younger and braver than I am. As you can see, all your arms do is catch the bar at the peak of its rise, when it is weightless and before returning to the ground. Once you have established yourself in position to drive the bar, by raising the elbows and establishing that contact, you throw the bar with your body by initiating a jump, using your legs in the exact same motion as if you were jumping in the air, but transferring the momentum into the barbell. You don't dip farther than you would if you were reacting to something moving quickly overhead and out of reach. It is a stretching and flexing of all the muscles in the legs and hips, our biggest and strongest muscles. Don't overthink it. You already know how to jump. The key is to stay vertical shoving your hips back only as far as you can while keeping your chest vertical, bending at the hips and knees and ankles only. Finally, we make room to catch the bar, especially on heavy lifts, by becoming shorter, splitting your feet into a lunge with them moving both forward and aft. Neither foot should remain rigidly in place by taking a step. The key is to get your body to remain under the barbell and not travel on the horizontal plane. Your feet should land at the same time and with the same sound. You return to the fully extended and upright position with the bar overhead by taking at least two steps, keeping your body in the same place on the platform as it was when you started. Like swinging a golf club, you can always be working to get your timing and movements quicker and more perfect. Dialing in the split jerk is how you get heavy things over your head.